today I'm working on our water filter system and softener as well. I want to make it so we don't have any filter out there. So that way, basically when I show it come and having this out there as well, I just hook it up. And then we're also upgrading the system too. Um, we're gonna do blue technology, uh, mainly because of the size. It's gonna fit pretty nice right up there. This is already kind of plexiglass from doing our solar install. So I'm um, just kind of fixing a couple of the, like the line off our pump. This one right here. Um, used to be this, and it was actually kinking. The pump was siphoning it and suck, it was sucking it shut and flat, so I had to replace that. So I figured it was a good time to do that while I was doing the filter system. So essentially, my goal is the filter is going to be mounted up here, like so, and then uh, right underneath that will be the softener, and then. I am going to put a bypass for the softener, that way when we got to do a regen on that or whatever, because it takes like a half hour or so, that I'll be able to keep water in the house and all that, and then I'll just build it, unscrew it, take it off, do, it, do a real quick regen, and then hook it back up. But as far as a bypass or anything for the filter, I'm not doing any of that. I'm still going to use the factory filter. Since this is a two-stage, I'm going to do just run a... Just a micron, a five micron filter out of this, and then the blue technology has the 0.2 and then the tasty filter, so that should be pretty good. We don't really drink much out of our tanks, but if we do, it's for like coffee and stuff like that, or it gets cooked. So, look at this giant grasshopper. Look at this thing, it's huge. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing today. Oh, and then also when we're in um, cold weather spots, softener will be inside, so then we don't have to worry about anything freezing or anything like that. All right, got it, got it mounted. Kind of see. My, my plan is to go in, to go in, and then it's gonna come into this filter, pre-filter. Go up. Well, I'm gonna reroute this and get rid of all that. So I'm gonna go to the side, go back under, which will actually bring me to this top one here. And then that's gonna go straight up and then into my filter here. Up into there. And then it's gonna go in, go down, and we're gonna go down. And then this is where I'm going to add something else to make the bypass system right here and then I'll cross over and then it's gonna go into the water softener and then up that's my plan so kind of a work in progress kind of play it by ear figure it out make it work how I want it to work for us so I'll keep going softener is gonna go in and then this is what I need to figure out I'm just playing with stuff, I don't know. I was thinking maybe I'll just do water hookups. Trying to make it easy. But either way, there's a valve gonna go in. Here. And another one for a crossover. Yesterday I left off, I had to go get some fittings. I got some straight ones. Um, Still trying to mock everything up, but I'm gonna have this be a double threaded here because that way it's not constantly turning. Every time I put it on, I can just disconnect and then disconnect it. It's gonna be a little easier uh, for when I have to do a regen or changing the filters. I can flush it out easily that way too. So. Um, other than that, just gonna keep mocking everything up, and then once I get it all mocked up, I'll start crimping everything.
Okay, I think I got her. Gotta get one more fit in. Uh, I was planning to do a 90 out of here, but uh, just so it's not um, conflicting up here with each other. I went a little wider, but that's not a big deal. I can make that work. I also have to grab one fitting, one of these, but a straight, and then it'll be fine, I think. This is how it's gonna be. It's gonna come in from behind the first filter, which is gonna be a pre-filter. Go in right here, go through the filters, and it's gonna go back, go down, and if I have this on, it'll go down through the softener, and then to the house. And if I have this one closed, this one on, it's gonna come down, bypass the water filter, and then go to the house. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Now I just gotta crimp it all, which is pretty easy, just takes a little time. That was that one. So I'm still gonna use that one just because it's got a weird bend on it. But I'm gonna change this, change this to PEX, so it'll go right back out and then up. It's officially done. Well, it's all mocked up, I should say. So that's gonna go in there. So we're going water in. It's coming back through this side, going out. And then it comes to this side. So this is on the other side. It's gonna go up into the filter, filter one. Well, filter two, technically. Filter three will come out, come down. And if I'm going through the softener, this will be closed, which it is. And then this would be open. It'll go through the softener and back up to the rig. And if I don't have the softener or don't want to use the softener or whatever, I would shut these. Open this, it'd still go through the filter system up here, come down, and then go back to the rig. So either way, I can go with the rig, um, through the softener, or just the filters. So if we are running the regen on the fil softener, I can just bypass it, unhook it, whatever. Um, we want the softener and filters obviously inside for winter time, so. And that's just one less thing we have to set up outside. Um, now all we'll have to do is hook the pressure regulator to the city water and then the garden hose. And then everything else just stays right inside the rig. I am gonna put a strap on. Um, I'm gonna put a strap here just so it can't go anywhere while traveling. I've traveled with it just sitting there already and it's never gone anywhere, so I'm not overly worried about it, so. Yeah, cool beans. Time to crimp everything up. Got it all done. Here's what it looks like in the back um, after all the piping ran. I did have a little leak up out of here, so I had to take this part off again and do a little bit better tape job, I guess. But got it now. It's looking pretty good. Filter systems. So, so as you can see this side. Like I said before, it just comes in, goes back out, goes to the back side, goes up, into my filters, filter down into the softener, and 
back around back to there, so that's what it looks like. <laughs> 